Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be a unique vintage try-on unboxing haul and review video. And if you're unfamiliar with the website Unique Vintage, it is a clothing retailer that sells vintage inspired apparel. And they sell stuff that is inspired by the 1920s all the way through to the 1960s or 70s. They have an in-house brand where they have items that are exclusive to their website, but they also stock dozens upon dozens of other brands who create vintage inspired apparel. So it's a really nice place to find vintage inspired clothing if you haven't had good luck with true vintage items or if you're searching for something specific. Now even though this website is great in theory, I haven't had the best luck with them. Every time I order about 50% of what I order ends up going back just because the fabric or the quality or the fit isn't quite what I'd expected. So I made this order with that in mind. I don't think I'm going to end up keeping everything. In addition to sharing my thoughts on each item, I'll also tell you whether or not I'm going to be adding it to my wardrobe or sending it back. Now I ordered 11 items, but unfortunately one of them was back ordered so it isn't here, but I will put a picture of it on screen and try and update you over on Instagram when it arrives. Now this is the box that we're going to be unboxing. Uh, it came via FedEx at midnight last night. Now before getting into the real guts of this video, I feel like I should apologize because I'm getting over a cold. I have been sick for 10 days and I am finally feeling a little bit better but I still sound a little bit sick so I apologize if that's annoying but I knew that opening this would make me feel better so I decided that I was going to do it regardless of whether I sound a little sinus infection-y. So I have the box, I have some scissors, and I'm just gonna get this open. Now right on top here I have the Lydia Tropical Bird Wing Sleeve Cardigan by Voodoo Vixen, and this is in a size medium. And this is what it looks like. So I ordered this because I have a lot of these reddish and orangish tones within my wardrobe. I got a few skirts in that color, and it's something that I just think looks really flattering and nice on me. Uh, and I thought this was a really, really cute print, that this would pair really nicely with so many things that I already own. However, it does look a little large, but the fabric itself feels really nice. So let's see what that looks like on. So I'm not sure where the belt for these pants are right now, so they're a little bit loose, but I just wanted to show you how this sweater looks with a pair of high-waisted pants. I think it's really, really cute. I love the birds. I love the detailing on the sleeves. I love the multicolored buttons. I just think it's really, really cute. I don't know if I need it though. I really don't know how much wear I would get out of it, but I think it's adorable. So I think it kind of depends on whether or not I like the other sweater that I bought. I'm going to try and pick between them. But the fabric for this feels really great. The fit of it's really nice. It's not too tight in the sleeves. I find they tend to be kind of tight in the arms, these sweaters. But this one fits me really nicely. And I would definitely recommend this if you like the design of it. I think it's great. I'm just iffy about how much wear I would actually get out of it. And next up, I have the Black Gertrude Plain Shorts from Collective. So I bought these because I really need a pair of black shorts in my wardrobe. I don't have a pair. and I I've had really bad luck finding black fabrics that I think would work well for a pair of shorts. All of them seem to collect lint really badly, they're either too stretchy or too stiff or they don't wash well or whatever the reason I've just had really bad luck finding black fabric. And I was really excited when I saw these because even though they looked quite tight on the model, they were described as being the Gertrude style. And the Gertrude pants from Collective are my favorite pants. They're made out of a really lightweight uniform cloth, they don't wrinkle, they're super high waist, they button up the sides, they're really cute and very 1940s looking. So I was hoping these would be made out of the same fabric and have a similar fit despite how they looked on the model, but these are made out of a stretchy spandexy twill feeling fabric and they do look like they're going to be quite tight. So I don't think I'm going to be keeping these just because I don't think the fit is going to be like the actual Gertrude trousers, which is a big shame because I love those pants so much and I would love to have a pair of black shorts in that style, but I don't think these are going to be it. I was originally going to show you how I was going to style these, but I'm not going to even bother because I know these are going back. They fit me how they fit the model. They're really, really tight through the legs, and I'm just not comfortable with that. It's not historically accurate at all. It's not comfortable. I don't like the feeling of it clinging. I much prefer looser shorts, and I'm just all around really disappointed in these. I thought they were going to be a lot like the Gertrude trousers, but within fit and fabric, and they're just really, really far off. So these are definitely, definitely going back, which stinks because these were probably the most justified purchase in terms of things I need to add to my wardrobe, but they're just not it. Definitely not. This is another piece from Collective, and this is in a size UK 12. It is the Millicent Moth Cardigan. And this looks pretty tiny, but also very, very cute. It is a blue long sleeve cardigan that has this little embroidered moth at the collar. And it's in a very, very pretty pastel kind of periwinkleish blue color. And I bought this because I've got a lot of blue in my wardrobe. I have a couple blue skirts, and I also have a lot of blue dresses, as well as white dresses. So I thought this would look really cute layered over top of them. With just the bottom half of the dress showing, it would look almost like a skirt. 
and I could see pairing this with a belt too. I just thought it was a really sweet design and I really really liked the color of it. So I decided to grab that but as I said it looks a little small so we'll see what that looks like on. So this is really cute in theory but it is way too small. I feel like it could seriously hook out of this. Um, I would say size up by like two or three sizes if you're interested in getting this. Um, but it is very cute. It looks like it did in the picture. The fabric feels really nice. It's a nice thin kind of cardigan. And I would recommend it based off of how it feels and stuff, but this does not fit me. And since I like the other cardigan so much, I think I'm going to keep it instead, and this one's going to go back. Now I have the Barbie X Unique Vintage My Barbie Collection Swing Skirt in a size medium. And this is something that I've been eyeing on their website for a really long time. They have a whole Barbie collection that is really cute, and I purchased two items from the collection. And this is obviously one of them. So it is a black cotton sateen skirt. And then on the bottom, it has a whole bunch of different vintage Barbie designs running around the hem. And then at the back, it has a visible zipper with a little Barbie um, hang tag. So I just thought this was really cute and that this would be really versatile. Since it is black, it fits my desire to have more black bottoms in my wardrobe. And since it's got all the different Barbies on the bottom, it really can you can really tie in a whole bunch of different colors of tops or blouses with this. So I just thought it was really cute and that it could be a really nice, uh, very versatile addition to my wardrobe. So we'll see how that fits and how that looks on, but I'm really excited to finally own this. I've been waiting for it to go on sale for a really, really long time. I should specify that the reason I decided to make this order is because they have an annual Memorial Day sale where it's 20% off everything. So that's what really motivated me to order this stuff. A lot of it were items I'd been eyeing for a while, or just items that I felt were missing from my wardrobe. So the sale seemed like a good time to make this purchase. It's kind of an odd fabric. I'm not sure how well it's going to wash. But I think this is really cute. Again, it's probably a little bit on the short side for me, but I can deal with that. I just think all the colors in this are going to make it a really versatile piece within my wardrobe. I think it looks really cute with just this top as well. I'm trying to show it off in all its glory. But it's a really, really cute design. And the skirt has a nice amount of volume even without a petticoat underneath it. I think it has a flattering amount of volume where it kind of slopes over the hips instead of just kind of creating a shelf effect off the hips. So... Really, really like this, and I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it. I think it's really cute. I have one other item from the Barbie collection, and this is the Barbie X Unique Vintage Rose and White Gingham Barbie Dress. And this dress is actually based on one that a vintage Barbie wore, and it's so cute. If this doesn't end up fitting me, then I am going to try and make a replica of it that does fit me, because I think the design of this is adorable. Though I think this will fit, because it feels really stretchy. It's made out of, like, a stretchy twillish fabric. And it's relatively high neck in the front and it has lace around all the edges. And then in the back, it has buttons! It has these giant buttons at the end of the straps. And it looks like it's fully lined. And again, it has that visible zipper down the back, which is not historically accurate in terms of 1950s fashion, but is a really cute little statement. So I hope this fits me and looks cute on me, because um, I've been eyeing this dress for a long time, and I just think the design of it is adorable, and that it would be the perfect summer dress if it does end up fitting and looking nice on me. Okay, so I've got mixed thoughts on this dress. I think it's really cute. It's just a little bit big on me. I don't know if it looks big in person, but there's just kind of a lot of extra fabric. Like, I can probably pull it three inches away from my body because the material itself is just so stretchy. So I almost feel like I need a size small in this, which is really weird. I'm usually a size large, not a size small. But I think the dress itself is really cute. I love that it has pockets. I think the back is adorable. And it's got these darts that I thought might hit me weirdly, but they actually hit me pretty much perfectly. So I'm definitely keeping this dress in some form, and I don't know whether I'm going to exchange it for a size small or keep it in the medium, um, but I think it's really cute. My only complaint is that I think it's a little bit short on me, um, but I'm not too bothered by that, and I really like the weight of the fabric, and I just think it's super cute. So this is a keep, though maybe size down. And if you buy this, I would definitely say size down. I have a 28, 29 inch waist and the medium is slightly too large for me. So if you're really small, they probably won't even have a size that will work for you. Here's a better thing of how stretchy it is. Like there's just a lot of fabric that I can pull away from me. Um, and also I would say that if you're busty, this dress probably isn't going to work for you. There just isn't a lot of room in these darts, which works for me, but probably won't work for everyone. I bought one more dress and this is the Unique Vintage Black and White Dot Cap Sleeve. Valencia dress. And this is made out of what feels like a very historically accurate fabric. It's a really lightweight cotton and the back of it is ruched 
um, which I don't really like because I find then it doesn't cinch you in quite the way that 1950s dresses should, but it means it will fit a variety of sizes, which is nice. So I think with the print of this, it's going to be hard to see on camera, but this is a cap sleeve dress, and it's got gathers at the bust, and then it's fitted through the waist, and then as I said at the back, it has um, this ruched kind of stretchy elasticated panel, so it should fit a variety of sizes. And then it's got a circle skirt that has been gathered down, and it's black and white polka dots, and I really want more black in my wardrobe. As I said, it's just a color that I really like because it's so versatile, and I like the idea of having a summery dress in that color. I only have one black dress right now and it's a little bit heavy for summer. So if this fits, I'm definitely keeping it because I think it's really cute. And again, this is something that I could make myself, um, but I just thought this was really, really nice. So if it fits me, then that is staying because I really like the way the fabric feels and I think the design of it is really sweet. All right, so I really was not expecting to keep this one. I thought with the elastic in the back, it would end up being pretty unflattering and loose. But the fit of this is perfect on me. It's really comfortable. I think it's really flattering how it's off the shoulder. I really like the weight of the fabric in this. And I just think it's super duper cute. So this is definitely one that I'm keeping. I'm really, really impressed with this dress. Maybe I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it. Continuing on with my desire to have more black in my wardrobe, this is the unique vintage 1950 style black and white striped something. <laughs> this is in a size large slash 10 slash 12. And that looks like the right size for me. It actually looks quite small, if I'm being honest. So this is a very thick jersey um, fabric. It actually feels really nice and high quality. And I just really like the design of this. I thought it would be quite flattering. I thought it would look really cute with that Barbie skirt, as well as the shorts, if those end up fitting me. Um, and again, this is just part of my quest to bring more black into my summer wardrobe because I really like it as a color for accessorizing. I feel like I can mix it up with the belt and shoes I wear, and uh, it's just a color that I gravitate towards often, even though I don't have a lot of it in my wardrobe. Also, I have a white and navy colored shirt in a similar style that I think is by Voodoo Vixen, and I wore it to death last year. I seriously reached for it so much, and it was just a simple jersey tank with a little bow at the front. So I thought it would be good to have a similar shirt um, in a black tone. So we'll see how that fits and looks on. I'm always a little bit hesitant of cap sleeves. I feel like they can kind of make my arms look fat, so we'll see if this does that. So this is the shirt. I don't think it's super flattering, but I also really like it. I think it's a cool illusion around the neckline, and I think I'm definitely going to keep this. It's not super flattering on the arms, but cap sleeves tend not to be. However, I think this is a versatile piece, and I will get a lot of wear out of it. And I think the neckline itself is quite flattering. I would say size up in this, though. It does feel pretty tight on me, um, so if you want a looser fit, definitely go up. Now we have another skirt, and this is the Sophia Scallop Border Print Swing Skirt. So this is a really similar fabric to the Barbie skirt. It feels like a thick kind of cotton sateen. It is quite wrinkly, which I don't love. So this is just a relatively simple rectangle skirt. It's got this really pretty border print where it goes from black to dark green to all of these pink tones. And I have several pink and ivory blouses in my wardrobe, so I thought that this would be a really good addition and a really nice thing to pair them with. But I think I'm going to try and decide between the Barbie skirt and this one when it comes to what I keep because I don't really need both of them, but this does look really, really cute. So unfortunately, I can't even try this on. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but they actually sewed over the zipper teeth when sewing the fabric around the zipper. So I can't get the zipper pulled down. It's getting caught on the fabric. Um, so this is as far as I can open the zipper. I'm gonna see if I can try it on, even with it open that much, but I'm definitely not keeping something that has that sort of flaw in it. And I've had this flaw with a lot of garments from Unique Vintage, uh, regardless of what brand I'm ordering from. So it just seems like a common problem among these brands, which is really unfortunate. So that's that. It actually has like an awkwardly small amount of volume in it. Um, and it's very, very wrinkly. So even though it's a cute design in theory, I'm not that sad about the fact that the zipper for this was broken. Um, it's definitely going to go back, and I'm going to keep the Barbie one instead. I'm kind of glad that it was such an easy decision, but I'm a little bit sad that this one didn't end up working out, because it was really cute, in theory. And then lastly, we have the 1940s style white chiffon short sleeve neck tie blowout. And I ordered this in a medium, but for some reason they sent me an extra large. I will try this on, <laughs> um, but if I like it, then I'm definitely going to have to exchange it. Though it doesn't look as big as I thought it would, so I might be a large instead of a medium. But I will give that a try, and we'll see how it fits. 
Um, I just thought this was cute and again it would be really versatile. I also like the pin tuck details on these around the collar. And it's made out of chiffon fabric and chiffon and pin tucks are two things I dislike using and doing on my own, much less combining them. So this isn't something that I would make for myself so I thought it was a good candidate for something to buy. Last up is the blouse that they sent me the wrong size of. <laughs> So oh, non-surprisingly, this is way too big on me, um, like even where the armpit placement is totally off. It's just really, really far off. And I actually don't think I like this enough to get it in a different size. It's cute, but it's very, very sheer, as you can probably tell. Um, so I think this is one that I'm just going to return as well. Plus, I think it coming in the wrong size is kind of fate that I shouldn't keep it. The last thing I purchased are sunglasses, and these are the Quay Red Goodnight Kiss Cat Eye Sunglasses. And I purchased these with the points from the order, so it was actually a separate order. And I just thought these looked really, really cute. I love Quay sunglasses, and since I'm driving now, I find that I'm wearing sunglasses a lot more often. And I just thought these looked like a really cute style. So I'm going to have to probably take a picture of myself in these to decide whether or not I like them enough to keep them. But I think it's a really funky kind of cute retro looking shape. So they're probably going to end up staying. And the quality of them feels really, really nice. So I ended up keeping the unique vintage 1950s style black and white striped stretch knit Dina top in a size large. I also kept the Barbie X Unique Vintage My Barbie Collection Swing Skirt in a size medium. I decided to return the Voodoo Vixen 1950s style black and pink scallop border print Sophia Swing Skirt, which was also in a size medium. I also returned the 1940s style white chiffon short sleeve necktie blouse, which was supposed to be in a medium, but I got an extra large. I also decided to return the Voodoo Vixen black knit tropical parrot short sleeve Lydia Cardigan, which I purchased in a medium. And I was really sad to return this but I ultimately decided that I wasn't going to get enough wear out of it to justify keeping it and it was kind of an awkward in between seasons style piece because it was a very lightweight sweater but it was still too heavy for summer. I decided to return the collective 1950s light blue moth cardigan. This was in a size 12 and I probably need a size 16 or 18 for the fit that I'm comfortable with. It was just very very small so very cute too. And then I returned the collective retro style black belted high waist Gertrude short in a size 14. I decided to keep the two dresses that I purchased, the unique vintage black and white dot cap sleeve Valencia swing dress in a size medium, and the Barbie unique vintage rose and white gingham barbecue swing dress. Even though this was a little bit large and stretchy on me, I ultimately decided to keep it since it's cotton and it's likely to shrink when washed. And I decided to keep the sunglasses too. So that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful if you were considering any of these pieces, or just interesting to get a peek into my style and the pieces that I gravitate towards. I'd love to know if you made a unique vintage order over Memorial Day or somewhat recently, or if you think you might add any of these pieces into your wardrobe. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will talk to all of you guys soon. Hopefully I will sound a little bit healthier next time we talk, and hopefully I will be back with a more structured sewing-related video because I know I haven't made any of those super recently, and I'd actually planned on having a hat tutorial up today, but I wasn't in any mood to spend an hour filming a voiceover. Hopefully you can understand that. Thanks again for watching, and as I said, I will talk to all of you guys very soon.